Well, here's our piece of paper again. So this time we're going to um, draw a circle and then within that circle is going to be our circumference where we want to put our holes on. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off from the centre and we're going to work out where we need to go around here for our holes. So we're going to do five holes. One, two, three, four, five. So, like I say, the tool is going to start in the centre and the DRO is going to tell us where to go to drill these holes. What I've actually done is printed off. This is a calculator online, which is really handy. Uh, it's on the littlemachineshop.com website. And that will work out our hole spacings and where we need to uh, wind the X and Y axis in, you know, to get to those locations. So on here it's asking us the number of holes, five, the diameter of the bolt circle, which is going to be 30 millimetres, diameter of the holes, which is obviously the, the hole size itself, so whatever we're going to be using for that, five, three mil or whatever. Angle of the first hole, we can either start this at, right at the dead top centre, or we can, if we've got where we need to come round 10 degrees, 20 degrees, we can start that from there. So obviously you'd put in your degrees angle, your start angle there. And then the offset off the centre if you need an offset, but we're going to be starting dead centre. So here's the results of that calculator. Obviously we've got five holes, one, two, three, four, five, and we've got the degrees of angle for those various holes. And then on here we've got the X and Y which is obviously your table, winding your table, you know, handles X and Y to get to these various locations. So we'll go over to the mill and we'll have a look at the DRO and set that up and then we'll start machining those holes. So back at the DRO and we've got our instructions across the bottom here. So the one we were looking for this time is the circle command. So first of all, it's going to ask us the PCD, which is uh, X and Y, because we're going to be working with X and Y coordinates. Now it's asking for the center of the circle, which we're going to be drilling the holes around. So we'll move the machine to zero, and then we just zero X and Y, and that's going to be our start point for the circle. Now it's asking for a diameter, which I've already put in there, 30 millimeters. And it's going to ask for the start angle. So like I was saying on the um, calculator itself, we're going to start at zero. So it's going to be top dead center of that circle. And the end angle. So on that calculator again, we picked the last angle which was on there, which was 288 degrees. And number of holes. We're going to have five holes within the circle or within that circle. And now it's asking us to move the machine to number one position, which is 15 millimeters in the X plane, and then we'll start our half circle. So here's our piece of aluminium. So what we're going to do is we're just going to mark the center quickly. So 45, so 22 and a half is approximately around about there. So that's going to be our centre, and we'll just mark off 15 millimetre radius, which is going to be obviously 30 mil diameter. <clears throat> so there's our circle, which we're going to be drilling those holes on there. So we're ready to move the machine round to find our centre. So we've got a centre finder in here. So we've found our centre and now we're going to change this over to a drill bit and then we'll start to drill our holes. So I've got a 3.5 millimeter drill bit in here, which is the first one that come to hand. Normally, um, if I was working on steel or a harder material, I'd probably use a center drill just to you know start those off because this drill bit will probably wander. But in aluminium, I'm not going to bother. So anyway, so we'll continue to make our cuts.
and there we go, five holes around a 30 millimeter diameter circle, all equally spaced. I'll give you a close up of that. Well that's it for this two part series, hope you found that interesting and you've learned something from it. I know the DRO can do a lot more complicated stuff than that, but that's just to show the basics of an arc and a circle and what you can do with those on the DRO um, to make life easier, you know, using the machine itself. Well anyway, thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next video.